Hey guys, something strange is happening in Greece and Santorini in the Aegean Sea and Mother Nature usually knows better what's coming. The fish are disappearing or the fish have disappeared. That's what the fishermen are reporting. So they are saying that Cyclades swallow the fish in the Patraikos and Ionian seas and they see a connection with the current seismic crisis, this seismic volcanic phenomenon that's happening there. The fishermen are saying that the phenomenon started about two months ago and that it has gradually become more intense. And that kind of matches with when the earthquake swarm began. The first more micro seismic earthquake swarm that ended on January 25th. And then the second, the intense one that we're dealing with right now, started on the 26th of January and is lasting till now. So the fishermen are saying that the rumbling, that volcanic magma intrusion rumbling and fault line rumbling and this basically continues seismic crisis, continues earthquakes that are shaking the, the region between Santorini and Amorgos, that this has had serious impacts on the fish. And they say the fish has decreased, it's estimated by 70%. That is massive. And that has led to skyrocketing fish prices in the region, as you can imagine. But that aside, you know, in, in many areas, there's fish called like doomsday fish. These are deep water fish that, that are super strange looking and long and they usually only appear on the shore if there's something going on that has recently happened in Mexico. So people are then preparing for some kind of natural disaster and it is known that fish react to earthquakes or imminent large earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. So is something like this going on? Where did the fish vanish to? Where did they disappear to? Where are they? Did they die? Or did they just leave because they know something's coming? Or do they just feel disturbed by the current rumbling? I don't know, guys, but 70%, that's rough. And one of the professional fishermen that's out there has given an interview and he said the same phenomenon has been observed in previous earthquake swarms before a bigger one happened. The fisherman said we had observed it a few times in the past in various seismic crises, seismic swarms, but not, never to such an extent, that massively, like 70%. And he says the problem that exists right now is huge. He says the boats right now cannot even uh, do anything. Like what they're... What they're catching right now doesn't even pay for their gas, their fuel. So he says, we have been in a very difficult situation, especially for at least the last 10 days. He says, we're fishing here in the Ionian Sea. But he says, this situation exists everywhere. So it seems in a very widespread area. And he says, when I talk to colleagues in other areas in the Aegean Sea, the same thing is happening. And you know, if you look at the map, this is quite an enclosed area between all these faults, between Santorini and Amorgas. This is where most likely at least one, maybe more, magma intrusions have happened and have basically interacted with the fault lines there. If you want to know exactly what it has probably happened and what is happening, a really thorough explanation with lots of graphics and scientific data, check out this video. I'll also put it in the end screen, guys. I've really put a lot of work in it and it's a little bit of a longer one, but it's really worth it so that we understand what's really happening there. Because by now it is clear this is not tectonic, this is volcanic. So difficult situation for the fishermen and a bit of a mystery because, okay, if it's in the whole area, where did the fish go? So many fishing boats are just tied up on shore. They're not even driving out. It's, it's not worth it because the, the fish 
population has decreased so dramatically. One fisherman says that due to the prevailing situation right now, he has decommissioned two of his fishing boats for the time being. And uh, he doesn't know when he is able to go back to his business. And he says the result of the reduction in, in the catch that they're having is, is of course an ultimate burden on consumers. But you know, if this is a precursor to a bigger natural disaster, that doesn't really matter, right? If the people have enough fish or not. But he says there is a shortage of fish and prices. He calls them fishmongers um, have increased precisely because of this shortage. So there is a serious problem. And he says, on the other hand, people do not have the money to pay more for that fish. And it's a, of course, it's an important it's an important factor of what people eat in these regions. And of course, also for the restaurants, tourist season is approaching, but tourist season is already hurting because people do not really want to go there right now because there's so much insecurity. Will we see a bigger 7.7? Earthquake again, like 1956, will we see some underwater eruptions? Will we see some eruptions at Santorini? Nobody really knows. But again, watch my video. There's a very good explanation. He says, well, people already had problems buying fish financially in Greece, right? Greece is struggling. But he says now it has become prohibitive for the majority of the consumer public. And they say, more fishermen confirm this shortage. They say we start fishing at six in the morning and we return at seven in the evening and there's a dramatic reduction in fish and everything indicates that this event is related directly to the earthquakes. So is it a precursor phenomenon in earthquakes as it really is in many countries all over the world. If the fish behave strangely or they washed up dead on the shore or these like how they are called doomsday fish wash up that usually are in a very, very high depth of the ocean that you never ever see them or catch them when you fish. If they all of a sudden show up, it's usually, it could be that it is, um, proof that there is some disturbance down there. So scientists indeed do attribute the disappearance of the fish to the current earthquake crisis. And they are speaking of a precursor phenomenon of earthquakes, maybe even underwater volcanic eruptions, who knows? So they related to the burden of seawater from various gases that are released from the bowels of the earth after each earthquake but it could also be from volcanoes. We know that they have detected gas, not underwater, but at the Santorini caldera, at the Neo Kameni Island in the middle there, but also if you see at the underwater volcano Colombo, there are these fumaroles coming out of the seafloor. It's bubbling, there's gases coming out of the seafloor, but can that be so massive that it affects the whole area? Or are the fish feeling more small micro seismic tremors that tell them something big is coming. They could also feel these massive magma movements underground, these magma intrusions that are causing tremors. So it is linked to low frequency electromagnetic waves. That's what many scientists are saying. And they affect the behavior of marine organisms. So that comes, seems to come after each earthquake. And we have so many, right? Continuously, basically. Also in the higher ranges. And it's, you know, if you look at domestic in Greece and international bibliography, it's a scientist's note about this precursor phenomenon that I just um, mentioned of earthquakes. The issue exists, but they say it's very difficult to explain or scientifically document that phenomenon. It has been observed to occur very often before or after the occurrence of a strong earthquake. So the composition of the water, it, it's possible methane gas content, but also some low frequency electromagnetic waves are possible causes that negatively affect marine organisms. So it's certainly, that's what the scientists are saying, requires a careful approach 
to the issue. It's something that has been known for many, many years and should be taken seriously, guys. And I will update you about everything. And if you're new here to the channel, you should subscribe and uh, have a look at my playlist. I'm explaining everything that's going on at Santorini, but also Fentale in Ethiopia and Campi Flegri is is causing us some sweat, I have to say, especially Campi Fligre. So check out my latest video there because there is a clinch between what officials say is the risk level or what might happen and what the observing leading scientists from the INGV are saying somewhat outside their role as leading scientists of the in official public institution. They're giving the warning of a volcanic eruption and they would like to evacuate and this is not one or two um, isolated scientists these are quite many but guys i have discovered something else and after this video i will release it um, it'll blow your mind so stay tuned watch out when the next video come comes but check out this one here in the end screen guys and if you want to support the channel check the links here in the description you can support the channel on my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site you can sign up there for free and you can buy me a coffee or two it all goes to apollo right now to his vet bills that are still coming in he's fighting cancer those of you who watch on a regular basis you know and thank you for all your support that you've already done and for the supers here for your comments and for watching my videos of course um we're growing guys this is really great so thanks to you uh stay safe guys i see you very very soon bye bye